to the channel everyone my name is Victor and I'm gonna give you a small tutorial on how to install the RGB fans and explaining most of the parts that come in the box with the fans as such as the, the hubs the fans and the wiring and give you a small view of how it all works all right so this right here is the hub and this is where I give most of the comments and questions on the the initial video I did on these fan hubs and review that I tried to do before so this is the fan hub and this fan hub has six ports where you will be able to install up to six fans there's three on each side and then there's um, two ports for RGB fans and they have the one port for the power that will go connect directly to your Molex connector that comes straight from your PSU or your power supply so this is the exact um, four pin connector that will connect to the Molex wiring cable that they provide you with so you'll be able to connect that directly to your power supply and just to, to provide a little bit of ease you'll be able to see on top of the hub that you know everything is numbered you'll get fan 1, fan 2, fan 3 and then on the other side you'll get RGB strip 1, RGB strip 2 and then you get the power connector which everything is labeled out with ease for you to be able to install this with no issues whatsoever in this section of the video I'll be able to give you a better overview of how everything goes connected with the this example that I'm about to set up for you so this is the fan hub now with this wiring that you see here that comes in the box you'll get the four pin connector that will connect to the fan hub and then you get the Molex four pin connector that will connect to your power supply so just make sure that you connect this right the first time so here you'll see exactly where this goes and how it connects to the fan hub just be careful because this these wires are feel flimsy and cheap so they seem to me like it would snap if you tried to you know pull it out or even put it in with fours the wrong way and you'll see how everything each port is labeled fan one through fan six so you won't have no issues whatsoever and always always connect these in order you know connect one fan to fan one the second one to fan two and the third one to fan three and so on if you try to put them all over the place the rgb lights will not function but the fans will turn on and spin and also these fans speed are not controllable and you will not be able to connect this to your motherboard and try to control the fan that way at all so that's out of the question now this Molex cable is the one that will give the power from your PSU to the fan hub and it will provide you with the flashing lights and the spinning fans. So the three pins you see me holding in my hands come directly from the three fans I already have installed in my case. And this is the Molex cable connector that comes from my power supply that feeds power to the fan hub. In this section I will be showing you how I plugged in each fan to the fan hub and the Molex cable to the fan hub. So I'm going to speed it up because this takes a little bit too long. So in this section, bear with me, I'm going to show you how to use the remote and how the buttons actually function and what they're for. So you get the off button and then you get the on. And if you press on one more time, it will pause the lights at a standstill like you see here. And then you'll get the color buttons and they're probably not synced in to the color they're supposed to, but you know, Chinese cheap fans so who cares and then you get the mode button and you can cycle through the mode that you actually looking that you actually want or the one that you want to look for 
and the auto button up top cycles through every single color and effect provided that comes with the fans so i mean it's pretty nifty and easy to use also you get the the speed the speed is only for the speed of the lights not the actual fans you cannot control the speed of the fans at all and then you get the light which you could dim or brighten the lights more so as you see here i'm dimming them down and then bring them back up so with with that being said that's everything hopefully this provides you with a good amount of information so you can make your purchase or even you know look into something else if you don't like how this one works thank you very much